10 matches we need to see in WWE in 2022 for now here on SCW. Thank you for choosing the channel and choosing the video. Please subscribe right now. Leave any comments in the comment section. Please like and share the video as well. Uh, let me know as well what matches you want to see in WWE in 2022 in the comments below. Would love to know your suggestions. Now, quick disclaimer, just before I start this video, I'm not going to use the same superstar for every single match. Otherwise, kind of defeats the point of it, really. Uh, I want to just try and use superstar mostly twice uh, throughout the entire video but the 10 matches i'm going to go for you right now starting with uh, big e versus seth rollins now because well let's be fair we were building towards that match and all of a sudden it became a triple threat match then a fatal four way then a fatal five way and now brock Lesnar is your wwe champion pinning big e uh, of course that's a, a very different direction to wrestlemania than what we expected at the end of last year in fact even the start of this year i felt we could have had a good program with big e and seth rollins and i still believe that could be the ultimate goal for wrestlemania at some stage so for me this story needs to play itself out it'll be interesting to see how we can get to it if it is going to happen uh, but for me this is certainly one match i need to see in 2022 now i also mentioned the fact about biggie and brock lesnar well why not have that match that would be really cool to see and let's be fair there's a story around it as well because brock lesnar comes in swoops in and takes the WWE championship from Big E. what happened as well with that infamous smackdown where brock lesnar destroyed kofi kingston in nine seconds and as well it's not the first time that's happened to Kofi, he was also destroyed by Brock Lesnar, a beast from the east. There's actually a fun video that's going around on social media where Brock Lesnar was upset uh, during a WWE uh, 2K reveal where he wasn't given bootios when he was promised. I think it was an interview with Xavier Woods. So why not play that into a storyline that that's you know why Brock Lesnar has such an issue with the New Day and doesn't waste any time, not paid by the hour. And Brock Lesnar as well, let's be fair, he was manhandled in places during that Fatal Five wave. I mean, the clothesline from Biggie to knock him over the top rope looked fierce. It looked devastating. For me, this would be a really awesome match so a match i need to see in 2022 and who knows that could be the place where biggie wins his wwe championship back next on the list is dream match territory for me anyways it is edge versus aj styles i need to see this match i've not really got a story planned for it necessarily but you know what i don't think you need one edge versus aj styles sells itself it's a wrestlemania worthy match indeed and of course i remember actually when edge made his return back at the 2020 royal Rumble, we actually injured Edge styles when spearing him maybe you bring that into the store and that could be a way to bring in and maybe edge styles wants to injure edge and put him out entirely that could be a fun direction you could go with that story another potential match as well would be edge versus kevin owens now of course this was the uh, steel cage match that was involved for the madison square garden uh, show on boxing day if i'm not mistaken december 26th last year we need that on our tv screens that's a match that edge wanted off his bucket list he's now had it but we didn't get to see it unless you were msg that night we did not get it. And I think Kevin Owens with his current direction going heel, I think it'd be a fascinating opponent to go against Edge. We've mentioned the vulnerabilities of Edge with his previous injuries, which we thought were career threatening. He is now back. I think that him versus Kevin Owens would be a great storyline. Two proud Canadians as well going head to head. It's must booked from WWE creative team get it done next match on the list for me is drew mcintyre against roman reigns just purely because i think drew mcintyre is the right guy to take the championship from the tribal chief the head of the table now i know drew mcintyre is out of action for the time being but when he returns build him up whether it's around wrestlemania time or building in towards SummerSlam or the rumored uk show in september i think that is the perfect time to pull the trigger to get roman reigns out of the title scene and to give drew his moment in front of fans because drew mcintyre's been built like a star at the royal rumble in 2020 but remember he won the championship in front of nobody in an empty performance center and the second time well he won it against a few zoom screens that were showing in the thunderdome so i think drew deserves a big moment in front of fans and i think that would be perfect in front of a uk crowd or a SummerSlam. and i think at that point you really do then put drew mcintyre to that superstardom the place that you were going for when he actually won the royal rumble in 2020. next i'm going to go for the breakup of rk bro riddle versus randy orton now of course uh, if you can see on the t-shirt i do have both of them there it is time to break them up in my opinion the match for wrestlemania um randy orton has been amazing for Riddle, building him up, uh, but for me, in my personal opinion, I think RK Bro is starting to run its course. You need to get Riddle to the next level, so to do that, you need him to beat Randy Orton, and I think you do it on the biggest stage possible. And WrestleMania feels 
perfect. Now I've got a couple of fantasy booking ideas for this one, so if you'd like to see a fantasy booking video of the breakup of RK Bro, then let me know in the comments below. For the rest of this video, let's go to the WWE Women's Division, and first off, let's start with Bailey against Becky Lynch. Now, of course, I don't think we've ever seen this match on Raw or SmackDown. Of course, it was a rivalry that was done in NXT, but I mean, we're talking many, many years ago, and uh, I think Bailey was always on Raw when Becky was on SmackDown, and vice versa. They switched when they both went to the opposite show. So we never really had the opportunity to have this as a proper rivalry. And of course, depending on Bailey's situation, we don't know if she'll be fit to return in time for the Royal Rumble. But wouldn't it be great if she was to surprise us, win the Royal Rumble, and then choose to take on Becky Lynch at WrestleMania 38? For me, uh, it definitely is probably the biggest match that WWE could do that we've not seen before. So for me, I would really hope that this one can go down. Uh, as well as that also speaking of Becky Lynch one against Rhea Ripley as well I mean this again is another potential dream match Rhea Ripley one of the rising stars of the next generation of the women's division in WWE of course Becky Lynch is well she's big time Bex isn't she she's been top of the mountain for quite a while it could be a great position to pass the torch it didn't quite work when it was Rhea Ripley against Charlotte maybe we would have better luck if it was Rhea Ripley against Becky Lynch it certainly feels a fresh good match uh, something I would be really keen on seeing and let me know if you'd be keen on seeing it as well in the comments below. Uh, as well as that, why not have Bianca Belair against Charlotte Flair? Now, Charlotte Flair is entering herself into the Royal Rumble this year. And of course, uh, we have seen these two face off previously before on Raw, uh, but of course, it was a disqualification finish. It could have been uh, Bianca Belair winning at what that time would have been the Royal Women's Championship from Charlotte Flair. But uh, look, going into the Rumble, Charlotte Flair, I don't think she's going to win it. She's looking to become the first champion to win it in history. It's a great opportunity to make a challenger a number one contender whether it's the winner of the rumble or just the person who eliminates so that could be the story amongst there and i think bianca belair versus charlotte flair it seems to be one of the strongest matches that wwe probably can do that doesn't feel like we've seen a million times before so again for me this would feel kind of a main event ish worthy for wrestlemania especially if bianca belair was to win the royal rumble for a second straight year her versus charlotte i think would be a money match so i personally would be down for that let me know in the comments if you would be as well last but least and on this list of course it has to beat naomi against sonia deville this story has been going on for so so long sonia deville has been the heel gm at stopping naomi from getting any sort of opportunity to get ahead on the smackdown roster it feels like we need to get this match whether it's at wrestlemania whether it's beforehand it certainly needs to happen i think we still got a bit more mileage of what we could do with her perhaps making naomi the number one in the women's royal rumble perhaps giving her uh, an opportunity where she could perhaps become number 30 or number one uh, and of course screw her over so she's number one uh, I think that could be quite cool perhaps even have Sonya in the Royal Rumble match that would be a fun little tease as well feel that Naomi has a, a goal to get to she can survive all those competitors she knows eventually she can get to Sonya Deville as well and finally see them get their hands on each other I think that could be quite a cool looking story on if W was to go down that avenue it certainly needs an end game at some point it's either doing that or giving Naomi the Smackdown Women's Championship and personally I'm not against either but I'd like to see this match surely first but that's all for me anyway thank you for watching here once again it's been my 10 matches we need to see in wwe in 2022 let me know what matches you want to see in the comments below in 2022 and if you like the sound of the matches that i've given for you also uh, please like share and subscribe let friends know that scw is here uh, check out other videos available on the side for you right now uh, thank you for watching as always and uh, yeah i'll see you next time all the best thank you for choosing scw